Hello comrades, welcome back to another update on the Kherson counteroffensive, as well as some news in the Donetsk region. So first of all on the counteroffensive, we have the latest news that the Russians have managed to capture Sukhistavak, cutting off the Ukrainian forces in Kostrunka, meaning that generally the progress that the uh, Ukrainians have managed to do since the first day of uh, the counteroffensive have been undone. The first, the past day, we have seen the Ukrainians reestablish a crossing across the Inhulovsky River, and uh, basically, essentially, uh, being able to resupply the forces that were previously cut off around Andrivka and this whole area. However, the Russians made use of the opening opportunity to cut off the Ukrainian supply line to the front line, meaning that generally the situation right now is that the forces here have been cut off, meaning that. The situation right now is that the Ukrainian forces here have been completely cut off from supplies and resupply, meaning that uh, the situation is really bad for the Ukrainian soldiers here. Looking at the latest Rybar uh, picture, we see that there's actually a lot of bombardment, both missile strikes as well as shelling in this area, meaning that generally the Ukrainian forces that are across the river and also trying to cross the river are under heavy shelling. Uh, so the situation isn't looking really good for the Ukrainians as the situation uh, conducts, meaning that the current situation is inflicting heavy casualties on the Ukrainians. Uh, and that's the news on the Kherson front. In the east, there have been spotted and geolocated four HIMARS rocket launches around Pokrovsk, which is the important supply line for the Ukrainians. And this makes sense for them to be located in this area, as this is where they can best receive supplies. As well as their 80 kilometer range, they're able to reach uh, most of the front line from this area. They can shoot towards Bakhmut, they can shoot the whole Donetsk front, and generally it is a very favorable position for them, as they can also be easily resupplied, as the trains can just pour in new rockets as they use them. So generally, this is very significant as the four of the 16 HIMARS that Ukraine has is around Pokrovsk, with the six reported destroyed by the uh, Russian Ministry of Defense. They would leave 10 left, meaning that about 40% of what they have left is in the Donbass region. And with about the same number in around Mykolaiv, that means that there's only two unaccounted for. So their main force is in Donbass and Kherson. This properly represents also the uh, forces, uh, how the Ukrainians have uh, split up their forces, meaning that most of their forces are actually around Kherson and Donbass region, including soldiers and heavy equipment and so on. This could also be a transfer towards Isium if they wish to conduct the counteroffensive in this area to not only distract from the failure around the Kherson counteroffensive, but also to uh, give some new hope and something new to talk about uh, for the Western uh, countries as they meet for another NATO meeting in a couple of days. So they are hoping their best for further uh, supplies, which is probably why they requested media blackout for the counteroffensive, considering how it's going so far. Generally speaking, the Ukraine counteroffensive is not in a good position and the forces of the Ukraine is focused around Donbass still, as they are focused around the Kherson region. So that's it for this update. Thanks for watching and have a great day.